Okay, so my router is registered online now, so you can see my HD2 dome there. I'm just gonna go to settings and firmware policy. And I just wanna make sure it's running the latest. So um, I'm gonna go to my HD2 dome. I can see the, the GA build now available. Um, so 8.1 is now, uh, now GA, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit immediately, hit save. You can see in control now pushing that 8.1 firmware down to the down to the router. You can see it's uh, rebooting right now, so that's a good sign. Okay, so now that the HD2 dome is online, now we want to configure Speed Fusion Cloud. Um, so you just click Speed Fusion Cloud. It asks you if you want to get your activation key. So I'm going to say get my activation key now. It's then going to have you put in your email address and the serial number of the router. Hit I'm not a robot, submit, and it's gonna send you an email with an activation license. You do not need to do anything. Uh, if you wait, if I go to in control and I click on my HD2 dome here, and in just a few seconds, my feature license is gonna be added to my in control. So we'll just wait for that to be pushed. Okay, so all I did was wait probably four minutes and just refreshed my, my interface here, Speed Fusion Cloud. The activation link went away and now it's asking me to choose my location or and connect to clients. Once you fill out that form online, the license key is automatically pushed to your router. If for whatever reason it's not, they also email you an activation key and you can go to system and feature add-ons and paste that activation key right here and you'll get your activation as well. So, but but you shouldn't need to if it's connected to in control. There's my Speed Fusion Cloud. So now I'm gonna choose my location. I can choose uh, my two United States locations or my global locations, or I can just choose automatic. I, I usually just go with automatic because it makes it nice and easy. You can also click on this Speed Fusion Cloud that's created here and you can create sub tunnels. So this default tunnel is a bonding tunnel. But say I want to use WAN smoothing or forward error correction for live streaming. I can create a new tunnel. I can call it WAN smoothing. And I can enable WAN smoothing on this connection. I can also create another tunnel called forward error correction and enable forward error correction. So now I have three tunnels. One default that's going to be bonding. One that's going to be WAN smoothing. Another one that's going to be forward error correction. I can then hit save to this and apply changes. And if I go back to my dashboard, you'll see that those tunnels are created. Speed Fusion Cloud, default WAN smoothing and forward error correction. And it's gonna to start to create those tunnels and set up the traffic. Okay, now that my tunnels are created, I still have to tell the router to use that traffic. So one of the things that I can do is go to my advanced and I can go to send all traffic to and I could just hit send all traffic to Speed Fusion Cloud, put a DNS server like 8.8.8, .8 and then hit save, and all traffic is going to go through the Speed Fusion Cloud regular tunnel. But that doesn't allow me to use all my other tunnels or fail over to cellular. So it's easy, but I don't necessarily recommend it. One of the things that I like to do is go to my outbound policies and configure policies to use the cloud. So, for example, I can set up a rule that says um, Speed Fusion Cloud WAN smoothing. So then I can set my destination like domain name and I can say, uh, I don't know, VoIP.com or whatever your provider, your voice provider is. And I can say priority, drag my cellular connections and then I can pull, oh, sorry, I have to have one. So I'm gonna pull my Speed Fusion Cloud WAN smoothing over, drag my cellular connection and I'm gonna say, fell through the next rule. So what this is doing is saying, if the destination is my do is, is this specific domain, or if it is an IP address or whatever I want it to be, um, use the WAN smoothing. If that, if for whatever reason that connection is not available, fail through fail through to the next rule. What this does is it says WAN smoothing fails through the next rule. Now I'm going to add another rule that says um, forward error correction. So I'm going to say FEC, and let's say the destination is any and I'm using TCP port 9100 and I'm doing like a, a video stream 
and I can say priority FEC, pull my cellular connections off, and once again, fail through the next rule just in case something goes wrong. But in the event that the, the Speed Fusion Cloud is enabled, I want you to go ahead and terminate any regular connections and get them on the FEC connection. Hit save. So now you can see I've got my FEC rule, my forward error correction rule that's sending any of my video traffic using forward error correction over the forward error correcting uh, Speed Fusion Cloud. Anything going from my VoIP server is using the Speed Fusion Cloud WAN smoothing. And then right now, everything else is just using the regular internet. So I want to add another rule that says just bonding. And I want to say any, any, any priority Speed Fusion Cloud default, remove these connections. And the reason why I'm moving the cellular one and cellular two is because I'm having it fail through to the next rule. So I'm basically saying, assuming that the cloud is working, use follow these policies. If not, go ahead and move to the next rule. So what you'll see is the rule says bonding, uh, Speed Fusion Cloud default, FEC, if it's the, the VoIP application or the video application, WAN smoothing if it's the VoIP destination, um, and then bonding any, any, any out my default regular bonding. But if the bonding or the cloud is not working, now I just want you to just load balance the internet and use it like normal. If I apply that change, I can now have that rule applied to this network. So now, say I want to do some, I want to manage this in in control. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings, configuration. I'm going to download a copy of my active configuration. I'm then going to go to in control and I'm going to go to outbound policies. So I want instead of creating these HD2 policies in my router, I'm going to create them in in control. So I'm going to import this configuration file. I'm going to name this my HD2 dome demo. I'm going to say any of the following tags, my HD2 dome demo. And you'll see now, look, my, my Fusion, my, my FEC is enabled, my WAN smoothing is enabled, my bonding. Now I can be a little bit more specific though. So watch this, I'm gonna click on my Speed Fusion WAN. And instead of saying domain name, I'm actually gonna say SAS, and I'm gonna say Zoom and Office 365. So now what I'm doing is I'm saying, if Zoom or Office 365, like Teams, I want you to go ahead and use my WAN smoothing tunnel, my PEP VPN tunnel uh, traffic. Fell through the next rule, hit save. Um, so now, now that I'm using in control, I can use um, SAS applications. So my forward error correction, for example, I could say if the destination, and so I can also do the same thing. I can do do um, like a SAS and choose a SAS if I if I want to use forward error correction control there. But most likely it's going to be a group network and it's going to be ips of so we can set up some grouped networks now that have our our servers so you can say if the destination is my servers and the port is 9100 use forward error correction um, and so that's a nice way to do that to, to manage these group networks let me hit okay and hit save and you'll see my HT2 dome profile there, right there, being applied to all my HT2 domes. I can then go to network and grouped networks and have a list of servers right here. And these servers can be um, list of servers that are used by my HT2 dome policy for sending forward error correction based destination traffic. So if you're trying to send to a streaming server or things like that, and you have a whole bunch of servers that you wanna be able to stream to, you can use the grouped networks to do that. So if I go back to my router and go to my advanced settings and my outbound policy, so I can go to my outbound policy now and I can see my new policy applied that gives me the SAS network def definition here for my WAN smoothing. And you can see that's grayed out, like I can't click it because it's using in control to push those SAS networks for Office 365 and Zoom traffic. We talked about how to configure Speed Fusion Cloud and utilize in control with our SaaS networks and outbound policies to utilize Speed Fusion Cloud.